What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and today we're standing here in Erewhon, and this NPC is talking over me. <laughs> and what I want to bring you today, guys, is a um, little guide about blueprints, how they work, and how benefit, how incredible they can be, like how much they can really help you. Blueprints can help you in a lot of ways that maybe you didn't think of. Now everyone knows that when you start playing the game, you can go to various bases around the map. Let's pull up the map here, and you can get blueprints. Like if I look at my map... I can see right here, right here, yeah, right here. Here I can go here and get the blueprint for the UMP. Now, what does that mean? What do you do with them? How do you build the weapons and what's the advantage? That's what I want to go over today. So the reason I'm here in Erewhon is because it's a very easily available shop. Um, so let's go to the shop and let's have a look. Now, when you open up the shop and once you tab over here, you see this this tab here, the third tab over in the shop says weapons on demand. What these are, these are blueprints of weapons that I can build. Now, there's a serious advantage to this, and we'll talk we'll talk just a couple minutes about that. What that is is let's have a look at my weapons and then we'll go back and I'll build a weapon and, and, and kind of show you. So these NPCs I need to get away from these. Alright guys, sorry. Sorry, it's my bad. Alright, so here I'm using an AUG as my, it's my primary weapon. It's my, well, it's my primary, you know, assault weapon. And then at the moment, I'm, I, at the moment I'm using the Scorpio, but see the Scorpio is not my preferred sniper rifle, not by a long shot. No pun intended. And that's going to be the thing throughout this game, you see, is because it's loot based, because, you know, we're talking about loot here. This Scorpio is going to get outdated. Well, the, well, let's look at the AUG, because I like the AUG. It's going to get outdated, and I'll have to replace it with another sniper rifle. Like, it's currently level 131. Here in a few levels, I'll start picking up higher level assault rifles, and it might not be an AUG. But what if I want to keep using the AUG? What if I want to replace the Scorpio? All right, and that's where blueprints come into play. Let's go back over to the shop here in Erewhon. This is the first place you'll come to. This is the main player hub here in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And... It really only takes about an hour of gameplay to get here, even if you don't know what you're doing. You'll end up here. You'll see there's a big central hub with a shop and everything. Let's go. Whoops. Here we go. Let's go back to the shop. So I don't know if I actually have the blueprints for my favorite sniper rifles, which would be the TAC-50 and the M82. Oh, I do. I have. Okay. See, I'd rather have a TAC-50 than a Scorpio. So here's what we can do. What we can do is, see, it only costs 800 skill credits. It's really, they're not bad. And what you do is, because I have the blueprint to build it, I can simply hold the button and build me a new TAC-50. Now, here's the thing. It will always be appropriate for your level. That's the beauty of this. So, when my TAC-50 runs out, instead of picking up a Scorpio, which I'm really not a big fan of because of its lower damage, I can just keep going back to the store maybe every, I don't know, every 10 or so levels and just build another TAC-50 and let's go ahead to edit and gunsmith. Of course, all of this stuff here, which I've covered in my weapons upgrade video, and there's a link to my entire uh, Breakpoint tutorial series in the description below. These will, will, will stay the same. So when I select my TAC-50, it should, or, should already be, um, well, let's find out. So let's go to the weapon list and select the new TAC-50 I just built. It is better than the Scorpio. It's higher level and I like it better. Let's go to the gunsmith. We can see it's already marked two. And I'm going to go ahead and there, I've made it into Mark III. Let's just click some, some of these upgrades. Apparently, I had some spare weapon parts laying around. So, I can replace this, and my next TAC-50 will already be, you know, Mark III now. The only problem is it does not carry this stuff over. So, you're going to want to go through here and make sure you have everything over there you want. But there we go. So that's the advantage of it is I can continue using that weapon. Or if you want to continue using a signature weapon, for instance, let's swap out my AUG for the, uh, here we go. I got a higher level Flycatcher's P90. It's just that I like the AUG better. It's the same with these. I have a blueprint for this. So once my Flycatcher's P90, and this is like the fourth one I've gone through, once its level runs out, I can go back and craft another one just like I did with that AUG. Where'd it go? There it is. 
So that's really the benefit of the blueprint system. I mean, that's like the most basic way to put it. Now you can access the shop, of course, from Bivouacs as well as here in Erewhon. And it's a great way to continue using your favorite weapon throughout the game and not constantly be forced into using a weapon you don't want to use. For instance, in my case, I really like the TAC-50. Not a fan of the Scorpio. I don't know what it is. It just, this one feels better. I really like the M82, but the recoil on it's really a, really a bear, isn't it? Uh, the TAC-50... Okay, so enough about that. So that's really the benefit of blueprints. Now, okay, so let's say I want to find a new weapon. Let's say I want to find the blueprint for the, uh, the M82. So we go to our objectives board. Now, weapons, collectibles, uh, attachments, stuff like that is all the blue stuff up here at the top. So we can click weapons, and here we get a whole list. Up here you can see assault rifles, handguns. Why am I not just using a mouse? LMGs, shotguns, you have every category up here. These are blueprints I can go get in the world. The ones that are lit up are the ones I already have. The, these ones here are the ones I don't have. See, I don't have one for the SVD, but I'm not a big fan of, of uh, DMRs. Okay, right here you can see when I click sniper rifle, the only blueprint I have is the TAC-50. That means I've not yet located the intel on where the, the M82 uh, blueprint is yet. Let's have a look at assault rifles, which should be, oh, okay, the first one. Let's say, okay, so let's say I want a blueprint for, wait, this is I don't have the blueprint for the AUG? Okay, fair enough, I was just showing you the AUG, turns out I actually don't have the blueprint for it. it, it it's a pretty early uh, game thing, but somehow I passed it up on this character. I happen to own one of these, but I didn't build it, so I couldn't build a new one. So the next time I get an assault rifle, that's actually a, a good demonstration. So the next time I get an assault rifle, once I hit maybe level 140 or something, that all is going to be starting to get out of date, and its damage will become subpar to, to other weapons at that level. Since I don't yet have the AUG blueprint, and trust me, it's easy to get. I don't know how I missed it, but whatever. Since I don't have it, I can't build another one. So that means that once this is out leveled, I'll be forced to accept the next one, whatever it is. And then you're forced to spend more and more parts over here upgrading these. And a lot of people a lot of people become familiar with one weapon and just want to use that one weapon. And guys, this is the way to do it. And that includes signature weapons, such as the flycatcher, which I showed you that I you know I have here. It's a signature weapon. Um, they're unique. Now they don't well, they have their own unique abilities, and they have their own unique paint jobs. And come on, I mean, they're just cool. A lot of people have this weapon here. That means that once that runs out, I can simply build a new one. All right, guys, that's a pretty good over overview of blueprints and like what they're for. The main thing is that it allows you to continuously use the same weapon, but of course, it costs money. You see, it costs me like 800 scale credits to build that TAC-50. And once it gets out leveled and I want to buy another one, I'm going to have to pay that again. But it is a relatively small cost. Make sure you pick up money. And it's, it is a really nominal cost. It's not a big deal. And that's how you can keep your weapons up to level, current worth where you are, and you can keep using what you want to use. Now, when you build one, it's not always going to be the same quality. You see that mine was a high-end quality, uh, meaning purple. It could have been blue. It I, probably could have been elite, I guess. I've never crafted an elite weapon but i don't have enough credits to you know grind out weapons and see if i can get an elite one but if you do have extra credits that's actually not a bad idea you can try creating the same weapon multiple times and maybe you'll get one that's of higher quality or with abilities that you want more for instance this tac 50 comes with plus 20 handling and then minus 20 percent technique cooldown maybe i want something else Maybe I want to see if I can get, and you know, this is high end. Maybe I want to see if I can get elite quality, which is the yellow class of gear you see like right here. You know, maybe I want that, you know, have better abilities and things like that. All right, guys, that's a basic overview of blueprints. Thank you so much for watching. It's been another guide to Ghost Recon Breakpoint, a pretty essential one that it took me some time to kind of really fully understand what the purpose of the, of the blueprints was and how important it is because it allows you to keep your loadout current at all times with the same weapons guys thanks so much for watching i'm derek daly i'll catch you guys next time